Chess was among various contact sport disciplines placed as high-risk events and has not been given the green light for resumption by the government. And with those measures put in place to avoid the spread of coronavirus, the organizers have resorted to virtual tournaments where players play from home. I enjoy uh, when pupils participate in physical sports because that is what makes their bodies to become mobile. They can be able to move, their minds get energized and they can be able to think well. And um, sport is a very key element in the aspects of learning because that is actually what even makes the child to be all round molded. With the Riara group of schools being the pioneer of scholastic virtual chess in schools, a program run by Waridi Chess Ventures under director Larry Kagambi, a first edition of the virtual Riara chess tournament was held today attracting 150 players who played from home. I enjoy going to chess tournaments and this is my, my second vir virtual chess tournament ever since March. And um, I enjoyed it. I won uh, the first round, and the other few rounds I couldn't play because of the technical difficulties. Unlike the face-to-face -face tournaments, various challenges face the junior players in virtual events, but they are still competing at their highest levels. In physical, we get a little bit confused and then when they look around, they copy each other. And, and when the other person is playing the same, the person who is playing with you is trying to be like the person who is playing with another opponent. Normally, it's, um, it's called it's, it's physically and you can talk to like your friends while doing it. Or And now... Some people have to face challenges. With the hope of someday making it to the international events, including the Chess Olympiad, they, under the support of their parents, are determined to continue competing in national tournaments until they reach their goals. I would want to go for the one for Russia, but it would cost a, little, uh, a lot of money if it comes to Kenya, so I would take the international Kenya Chess Tournament. The most challenging part, well, I don't think there's any except for the technical difficulties, like maybe no internet or your laptop or your gadget will not work. For some, they believe the sport has a positive impact on their mental state and has improved their performance even in class. These junior players are only asking for a platform to display their talents. I always have confidence. I always believe that like, I can be the first position. I think where we've come from, uh, yeah, we talk about 10 years ago, the sport, uh, whatever in Kenya, was a bit low, but at the moment, I think the government is putting. It might not be enough, but I think they're trying their best. Yeah, and I think they need support from everybody, whether it's the players or the parents or the anybody in the government. Despite the huge financial requirement to host virtual events, the organizers have vowed also to continue supporting the juniors to achieve their dreams. We have so many pupils at the slums, uh, for instance, Mukuru Kwajenga, there are pupils there we have enrolled in chess clubs and they are playing. But now, uh, due to, uh, since it is a physical contact kind of game, eh, they are, are cut short of uh, ways in which they can play against each other because of uh, the, uh, lack of devices to play, because we need gadgets like laptops, um, smartphones, which you can be able to log in and play. But now, it may... Uh, inhabit uh, some pupils who are coming from areas which are disadvantaged. In today's Riera Virtual Chess Tournament, Brian Monene and Manuela Nelima were crowned champions of the under 8 years category. Edith Young and Sandra Nyambura won the under 10 years category. Murakaru Njuki and Shanice Pendo won the gold medals in the under 12 years category, while Adrian Kelly and Liz Gasheri were too good in the under 14 years category.